GoPro footage of me being put through my paces with an angling coach. This is actually Brian Pass, a good friend of mine, uh, an angling and casting coach. And that would be the first tip, really. Uh, if you're a beginner and you're learning to cast, uh, first thing I'd recommend is to get your own coach. Uh, they're invaluable. They can look at what you're casting like, even if you've casted for a while, and they can iron out little problems before you start to get into those bad habits. So the first thing I did really for this video was to go down and see Brian. Here we are on Hastings. Uh, he put me through my paces with this Continental rod, and uh, it was great, really worthwhile. Now he was showing me an off-the-ground cast, the bright and an easy cast. But the first cast to learn as a beginner we'd recommend would be a basic overhead cast. So you're facing in the direction of the cast, and you're drawing the rod back. And it actually looks like from the photo on the right that the rod is moved back at about two, almost three o'clock, but it's actually between 12 and one. And that's not a bad place to start. And then you're gonna bring the rod through, pushing with your right hand as a right hander, a slight pull to the left hand. take your shoulders slightly as well you'll notice that when you get more into the cast so for all this to happen you're going to have to pull the line off the spool uh, take my index finger and tuck that into that part of the reel and then clip the bail arm across and so you want the line reasonably tight between your finger and the spool and you want to be nice and relaxed that line needs to be level with the uh, rod eyes and put it in there and if you look at the bail arm it's not going to catch on the line as it comes out either so nice and relaxed ready for the cast feet position is important the thing with UK angling of course you're going to be uh, casting off the sand in places and shingle and rocks so if the direction of the cast is where that arrow is you want to be somewhere like that with your feet in position you do need to be quite relaxed find that your right foot tends to turn a little bit on the sand. Uh, rocks can always be tricky for those of you fishing the deep rock marks or rock boulders like this so make sure you're comfortable in your foot position there casting in that direction of the arrow so you may need to compromise where you stand and maybe have a little practice uh, first just to see how your weight changes. The and then the shingle as well you want to get a good strong foot position this is something Brian showed me earlier in the week so you can dig down move your feet in the direction of the cast I've attached the tennis ball to the end of the line here instead of the lead this is really useful actually if you're uh, learning to pendulum cast uh, but here it's also shown us the drop the, o the idea of the overhead cast is that you're going to experiment with the length of the drop you may have obstacles behind you and you might need to have a short drop which will be say a quarter of the length of the rod or a longer drop which is almost if you're fishing with a big gap underneath you might even have half the length of the rod so experiment with that and this little diagram just explains the, the drop so if someone's talking about the drop it's the distance between the tip of the rod and then your the bottom of the lead there so I would go with start with a couple of foot and then have a really good experiment with length of drop and you'll get used to the different lengths because when you fish you'll be fishing over different sorts of terrain won't you so so the idea of this off the ground cast is to get the compression into the rod quite early on um, you won't get as powerful compression doing the off the ground cast as you do with the pendulum or off the ground even um, but you can get a nice early bend in the rod and obviously this does depend on the type of rod but get that compression by pulling gently down with the left hand and pushing through with your right hand and remember your right hand is going to be the one with the finger on the line and you could probably find a few faults with my weight there I'm not perfect for that cast but let's just have another look at that again So your arms out, nice and relaxed. There's a little rotation of the shoulders and then you're 
pulling gently with your left hand, punching through with your right hand, and you can see the compression there in the rod, and that's the power of the cast that you need. And then you want to keep your rod in that finished position, and then you're releasing just before that midpoint. And that is good for 100 yards with a half decent rod and that's enough to get you out fishing. So there are more complicated and more powerful casts. Uh, we might cover that in future episodes. But to get you out, on, out and about fishing, have a go at the off the ground cast. Um, I'd really love to know how you get on if you're fishing for the first time.